Shocking new surveillance footage is shedding light on a deadly confrontation inside a Roanoke 7-Eleven. The seemingly random act of violence rocked the quiet Grandin neighborhood last spring. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksteimer is working for you live from the store tonight. So Sydney, you heard from another employee during the trial today who witnessed this high profile shooting. Yeah, well, Lindsay, Rachel, this this court case is just really shocking. We saw new surveillance video of Isaiah Baldwin, who was a clerk at the 7-Eleven in Grandin, who shot and killed a customer inside of the store. Now, one of the employees who was there that night testified today in court and said Baldwin had a complete blank stare when he shot this customer six times. Now, a warning, this surveillance video we have may be considered disturbing. This is Isaiah Baldwin. He's charged with first degree murder for the killing of Steven Crowder. In surveillance video shown during the first day of Baldwin's jury trial, you can see Baldwin behind the register at the 7-Eleven on Grandin Road and Crowder trying to check out. Jessica Young, a 7-Eleven clerk who was there at the time, says she heard Baldwin and Crowder having a disagreement. Then Crowder punched Baldwin, and Baldwin pulled out his gun and shot Crowder. I saw the first few. I saw him get hit. I saw him drop to the floor. The autopsy showed Crowder was shot six times. He had obvious gunshot wounds. He had uh, six different wound paths. Um, uh, several to the um, upper chest neck area and uh, some to the back and some to the left arm. Baldwin's defense attorney made a motion to drop the first degree murder charge down to second degree or voluntary manslaughter. He argued there was no premeditation from Baldwin to kill Crowder, but the judge denied the motion. His face was motionless, just blank. He just pulled. Oh, he didn't what? say a word. He didn't. He pulled his gun out. That was his response to being. Now today, the Commonwealth rested after calling five witnesses. Tomorrow, the defense will present their evidence. We are expecting a verdict by the end of tomorrow. Live in Grandin tonight, I'm Sydney Jacksteimer, 10 News, working for you.